Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild and today we've got some highlights from a couple streams ago where we went out to Quattro Colinas and Parque Fernando in search of red deer and while we may not have found the melanistic red deer that we were looking for, we did find a lot of really cool trophies. But before we get into those, we've got this little 5 to 7 kg European hare right here and that does have a chance at being diamonds so let's see if we can get a shot into it and just hope that it does make diamond i don't actually know if level twos even have a chance but oh oh that one does hold on how how did i not see that and how did i miss that shot no what are are you kidding me okay that's the second time in like two weeks that I have been talking about a level 3 or a potential diamond and then end up finding it. What is going on with the European rabbits? Or the European hares, I mean. It only happens with these, and we absolutely nailed that shot too. My gosh, I can't even believe that. This is the second time that we've mentioned one, and then it pops out of nowhere, and this time it was in multiplayer, so... The fact that I even got it before anybody else came through here is just amazing. I cannot believe that. That's so cool. I was going to be completely happy with just taking out that 5 to 7 kg level 2 and then a level 3 comes out of nowhere. Imagine if the level 2 also makes diamond. This could be incredible. There is just no way that this happened like this. That is so cool. Please let this one make it. This one is just a gold, but this level 3 should be a guaranteed diamond. There she is, the guaranteed diamond European hare. Let's go ahead and claim her since we are in multiplayer, I don't want to risk losing it. 6.80, that is a pretty decent one actually. To be honest, I don't even know what max score is for these guys or what max weight is. I'm guessing 7 kgs is probably max weight since the estimate goes up to 7 kgs. So I'd imagine that 7 is probably max score, but this is a pretty good one. 6.80 is not bad at all. Go ahead and taxidermize that. It seems like we have gone probably over a year. Actually, since just after the release of Quattro Colinas was when I had got my last European hair. And then we've got two of them within the last two weeks. It seems like Call of the Wild always has a way of doing that where you'll go forever without getting anything and then just out of nowhere you'll find a couple good ones back to back. But that is super awesome. Well, I think since that's about as good as you could possibly start things out, uh, let's go ahead and just jump into all of the highlights. We got some really cool stuff, including our first rare stag in quite a while, so let's just jump straight into it. I think that right there is an albino. I'm like 99% sure that's an albino water buffalo. It's so hard to tell with these guys, but I think it is. We're going to try and get closer. But I'm pretty sure that's what that is. All I have with me is the 9.3 from the drilling rifle, so... This is going to be a rough shot. But maybe if we can get this guy to turn... Have to jump around a little bit. Come on, turn for me. There we go. Now he turned. I think we got heart. I think we actually just got a heart shot. That's awesome. That is the first albino I have seen in almost a year. That's pretty cool. What a way to start things out today. Now, we definitely need to find that level 8, because that guy was huge. Definitely want to get him down. But yeah, that's definitely an albino. Definitely is. That's pretty cool. Can't really get a picture, though, so... Just gonna have to claim it. Albino water buffalo. They do look a little bit stranger than other albinos, but... Still pretty cool. That is awesome. Come back here. I just saw level 3. Where was it? Oh. Come on. Where, where'd you go, buddy? I just saw level 3 pop up. Oh. 
There it is. There's a level three. We're like 195 away. We need to get a little bit closer. Hopefully before the host changes time. How? Explain to me how at 150 when I'm zeroed for 150, it didn't hit. That is wild. It went right over its back by quite a bit, actually. We did get it, though. So, that's good. But explain to me how it's 156 roughly away. I zero for 150, and it goes right over its back. How does that make any sense? All right, here we go. 4.60. So it is a small one. But still pretty cool. Been a long time since I've seen a diamond cinnamon teal. In fact, it's been months at this point. That is awesome. I still can't... Wait, that's not right. That's definitely not right. It was flying away from us. I think at least. That was all kinds of wonkiness on that shot. Well then. <laughs> I mean, at least we got it. Oh my gosh. That's a piebald red deer. Level six. Oh man. Uh, we need to get a little bit closer. That's super cool. Level six piebald red deer. Now that is an awesome thing to see. That's super awesome. And it looks like RG just found a piebald female red deer too. That's super cool. I cannot wait to get over here and get this guy down. I've got the 7mm, so I should have no issues with taking him down. Where did he go? There he is. We definitely want to get closer so the render bug doesn't uh, screw us over. Because that would definitely not be good. He's exactly 236 meters away. So we'll zero for 150. Aim slightly high and we should be good. 7mm should have enough power to take him down. That should be good. Yeah, we got lung. There we go, guys. We got a piebald down. That is pretty cool. I have not seen a piebald red deer in a couple months. So it's nice to see one. There he is. There's our beautiful piebald. I think it was a bit asymmetrical too. Oh yeah, it definitely is. Definitely an asymmetrical one. That's kind of a cool one. 165.70. This will be a nice secondary lodge edition. Didn't quite make gold sadly, but still pretty cool. Still pretty cool. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. That's awesome right there. Stop moving. Come back here. I need to smoke you. We need to get a Argus scope on. Oh my. That's cool. That's really cool. This is risky because it's a very long shot, but we just zero for 300. No, he's behind the tree. I think we got him. Now let's just run this way and hope that he doesn't go out of render. I think we should be fine as long as we hit that shot. There we go. That's vital blood. Beautiful. Beautiful sight. There he is. There's our piebald road here. Let's hope he's a little bit bigger than the one that we got the other day. Because the one we got the other day was actually a pretty good sized one. If this guy's bigger, that would be awesome. Um, he definitely looks nice. That's a good road here. 6780. That's a wonky one, actually. Wow, that's cool. I actually think this might be a little bit smaller than the one that we got the other day. But it's still really nice. Actually, it might be roughly the same score. And it's a pretty heavy one, too. 29.22 kg. So it was at the top of that estimate. 
Wow. That's a cool one. I am pretty happy with that, honestly. All right, so we honestly didn't have anything to put in this lodge, but because we got that European hair at the beginning of the video, unsuspectingly, we actually do have something to put in the lodge because I did find a couple empty platforms like these. I don't remember where they were, but I've had a couple just randomly go empty for no reason. I don't know what happened to the trophies that were on them, but we had a couple just randomly lose their trophies. So if I can find them, we will toss this little rabbit up. There it is right there. Let's go ahead and put that European hair here. And wow, okay, maybe this was close to max score. Maybe this was close. Uh, you guys let me know in the comments whether or not this was close to being max score. I think it was. I think this is actually a really big European hair. That's pretty cool. We will put that, I guess, like that. I kind of like the way that looks. Kind of got it right below our Cape Buffalo. Oh, and I did actually forget, we did have one more thing that made it into the lodge, and that was that really wonky roe deer. So he is right here with another piebald and our only albino one that's in the lodge. And I think this is looking pretty sweet. We got a 67.8 and a 67.5 piebald, along with our 49 albino. If only we can get a uh, gold scoring albino, this will be even better, but as of now, I like the way it's looking, especially with this guy added in there now. Such a cool rack on him. Alright guys, well that's going to be it for this video. hope you all enjoyed it. If you are brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, click the like button, and ring that notification bell so that you guys will never miss a video. Also be sure to comment down below with what you enjoyed most about this video, what you would like me to do next, what you're excited for with the brand new map, or anything else. And I will try to respond to as many of them as possible. With that being said, thank you all for watching. I will see you all in the next video. Peace!